Hi there stampers and crafters. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and today I am going to be sharing how to make this stinking cute pull out fun fold card. This was a viewer's choice picked by you guys from my founder circle swap video. I'm not just going to show you how to make it. I also have a downloadable PDF file on my blog that has a template that will also help you when you're making this. It's really easy to make when you have the dimensions for the scoring. Did you know that all of my videos have a downloadable PDF file that goes along with them? And you will find them on my blog. All you have to do is, if you're on one of my videos, is click in the link in the description below or click right on the videos and they'll bring you right to that particular project's page and the downloadable PDF is there as well as all the details on every project. Speaking of my blog, I have added some enhancements last week that are going to rock your world. It's going to make it so easy for you to find projects on my blog. You've always been able to use the search box, but now I've added a couple of find project tools to every page. It's on the right hand side menu bar and there's one for find project by occasion and find project by catalog. So you'll be able to actually click on Christmas and bring up all Christmas ideas or birthdays or sympathy or Halloween, whatever the occasion is, you'll be able to find it easily on my blog simply by using these new tools. And while you're on there, be sure to join my mailing list if you're not already on there. Because every Tuesday I send out a new edition of my mailing list and it has anywhere from three to six free exclusive card tutorials, which includes a card and instructions on how to make it and this is exclusive to my newsletter subscribers you will not find these on my blog so make sure you sign up for that as well just another added little perk I love to give you guys thanks for supporting me it means the world to me no really it means the world to me <laughs> I know a lot of you probably already know this I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator full-time I love what I do I am also a single mom so Stampin' Up! supports my family and I love love to inspire you I couldn't I couldn't be here without your support and it means the world to me and I'm not gonna cry I promise I'm not gonna cry <laughs> in fact this is this is all about fun we are going to make this fun fold card now so let's move into my stamping studio which also happens to be my dining room and let's get started so here is today's card isn't he stinking cute this is called a pull out fun fold card and this one was designed by Peggy. I will make sure that I post a picture of this one on my blog. But this is the one that we're going to make today. I just think it's flippin' adorable in blue. So I had to do that one too. And I'd love to hear how you jazz it up and make it your own after this video. So be sure to post a comment and tell me what you're doing to it. So all of these supplies and the measurements and a template for this cutting and scoring are available on my stampwithtammy.com blog. That template will be very helpful for you when you're recreating this, but I think it also helps to see it on the video too. This is the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. The dark blade cuts, the lighter one scores. We'll be using both of those right now. I'm taking the four by nine and three quarter inch sheet, placing it in one inch. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see that where this cutting blade is, there's a, a there are ruler marks, so I know exactly where I'm cutting. I'm starting at the three inch, and we're going down to the seven and a half inch, so it's perfect boom slice right in the middle of the card then we're going to turn this 90 degrees so that slice is on the bottom portion of the card we're going right to the three inch mark and we are going to score down to the three inch mark so that's just going to score the top section of the card then we're going to move over to the five and a quarter mark we're going to score all the way down the whole thing and then we're going to use this little pop-out arm. Nothing like a little convenient pop-out arm. You know, sometimes when you're sleeping and your arm gets in the way and you just wish you could just like take it off or fold it under like this little paper card, like this little paper trimmer does. Sometimes, you know, I wish I could do that so my arm doesn't fall asleep. But I digress. We are going to score from, three, from the three inch mark down, so the lower portion of the card. And with that slice and those three simple score marks, we can fold our card. So this goes in, the center goes in, the little portion comes out, and that's our fold. Bam! Just that simple. 
The two stamp sets we're using on this card both come from the 2015 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. The Snow Play stamp set, so fun. This one, you can build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. We are going to build a penguin today. Do you want to build a penguin? And the Oh What Fun stamp set, we're using the Tis the Season, and I picked this one so that it would fit in that little window when this is shut. We're using the Snow Friends Framelits, which were made to match the Snow Friends stamp set. When you purchase them together in my online store, you get 15% off. But all these little pieces cut out all the little stamps, so you don't have to fussy cut anything. We'll show you that in a sec. So I already pre-stamped these snowflakes on the background and soft sky. Using Night of Navy, we're gonna stamp the Tis the Season to the right-hand side in the center of this white panel. That is going to layer on the inside of our pop and fold card base and we're going to go ahead and attach this to its base right now. I'm just using snail adhesive to attach these panels. I like to do this one with it closed so you can line it up perfectly when it's closed. I pre-stamped the back of the Night of Navy strip with some Whisper White with the snowflakes in Whisper White and we're just attaching that to the black strip with some snail adhesive. Oh, I did not line that up well at all, did I? And that's going to go on the bottom section. So let's see if we can get that off and redo. Oh, goody. <laughs> I didn't really press down hard yet. The beauty of snail is you get it, if you can catch it before you press down hard, you can save it. There, much better. I'm going to stamp our penguin in basic black on a white panel. And I've got the Pumpkin Pie Stamp and Write marker taking the brush tip end and just going to get his little beak and his feet. This Pumpkin Pie marker comes in the Bull Brights assortment. And then using some snail, you can go ahead and stick those layers together of the Knight of Navy and Basic Black, and that can go right on our card base. Cute! But he's a naked penguin, and it looks like a little bit of the penguin is missing there. And I've got a tip for that. Just take the basic black marker and just color him in. Anywhere where he's light. All right, for the next step, I pre-stamped the hat and cane and the bow tie. I've got the big shot die cut machine here with the magnetic platform on it. One cutting pad down and our paper with our images on it that we want to cut out. And then we'll take the matching framelits for all three of these images. I love that these match exactly. And then we'll take one cutting pad and put it on top and crank that through. And you know what? It's that simple. All of our pieces are cut out. No fussy cutting. And I am just attaching these with some st Stampin' Dimensionals. The hat's a little crooked on the little penguin because he's so cute. And um, I actually use these little edgings here. I cut them off because the bow tie and the candy cane were really small. And he's holding his little candy cane. Tis the season. And after we finish this up with the little rhinestones, and now that we've added our little bling bling, he is just stinking adorable. Whether he's in the Cherry Cobbler or the Knight of Navy, super cute, fun fold, pull out card. Easy, thanks you guys for voting on this one. I really love this card. It's fun to play with, too. <laughs> Be sure to visit my blog for daily inspiration and for my new enhancements to make it easier to find things. Thanks for joining me today.